Hello, I'm Michael Gagne, Executive Chef of the Robin Hood Free Meeting House in Georgetown, Maine, and President of Gagne Foods, which is a frozen food manufacturing plant that produces high quality, all natural, freeze oven bakery products. Today we're going to learn how to make strawberry puree, and I'm taking strawberries to which I have washed, de-stemmed, and sugared for about 20 minutes, and place them into a Roboku. Uh, or a food processor, Robocoop being the name brand, which is probably a little bit bigger than the one you have at home. And I'm going to what we affectionately refer to as whack it. The amount of time is the variable here. And what we're looking for is a very smooth paste to be used as a strawberry sauce. You can also use a strawberry puree and pour it directly over sliced strawberries and allow the sugar in, in the, that you've added to the sliced strawberries to uh, macerate the newly sliced strawberries. So now we're taking the well pureed strawberry puree and putting it into a squeeze bottle. As I said before, there are tons of other uses for this. You can actually pour them over sliced strawberries and allow it to macerate a little bit. It makes a great strawberry shortcake. But you can also use the puree itself as a decoration. This squeeze bottle has a rather wide cut in the tip. With a finer tip, you can make a finer line. You may have to strain it to get the seeds out. So you can make designs, but you can also do dots. And if you have another sauce, you could place these dots in the other sauce and then with the tip of a knife, make a circle in your sauces, which will end up making an attractive design. I'm Michael Gagne. Thanks for watching. That's how you puree strawberries. Mm -hmm.